Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I want to talk to you about how to connect your Sony a7 III to your smartphone or your computer. It should work with other Sony cameras as well, but I'm not guaranteeing anything. <laughs> MacBook and for the connection between my Sony a7 III and my MacBook Pro I just use the original USB-C charging cable. For this video I just set up the USB-C connection to my computer right afterwards previous two others and I ran into a snag, it just didn't work. And I could solve this issue easily and I just want to let you know what I did so that you won't have the same problem. First of all, I had far too many applications running simultaneously. I had Mir, Lightroom, InDesign, Bridge, a few Finders and many many tabs in Safari all open at the same time. And that's one thing, when you have all these applications or many applications running at the same time, um, then the remote, um, the USB-C connection with your camera will be like, well, I'm sorry, no, I'm, I'm not in this game. I'm not going to work and going through with this. So just close up the applications. And the other thing is that sometimes when you just had um, another connection to, for example, your phone or something else, I had the message that you should take a brief break and afterwards it would work. Just as a side note, the break that I took then was uh, 15 minutes. I just enjoyed laying back, listening to my favorite, favorite audiobook at the time, Harry Potter. If there are some fans here as well, let me know down in the comments as well. And afterwards I went on. And now we're going through this together and have a closer look how to set up the connection from our camera to our computer. <music> First of all, once again, we need to download the app first. And for the computer, the name of the app is slightly different. It's not the Imaging Edge Mobile, but it's the Imaging Edge Desktop. So, download this app. camera, go into the Sony menu once again and the second last tab, the briefcase, there we go to page 4 and there is the USB-C connection. Hit that one and set it to PC remote. Now we switch back to the computer and we start the Imaging Edge desktop app and after that we connect the camera to our computer with the USB-C charging cable. On the left of your camera, you have like the slits that you can take off and where on the top lid inside, you can plug in your mic and at the bottom lid below, you have the socket for a USB-C and plug the charging cable in there and into your MacBook. And so we've got that connection set. On the computer in the Imaging Edge desktop app, we have different sections and the top section is the remote section and on the right of each section you have a start button. So just hit the start button of the remote section. So now a new window appears on your computer and there is just a list where your camera will appear. And double click on your camera and then you get the connection and as before you have the preview, you have the different settings and yeah it's just basically the same. So now we've completed your task and you want to disconnect everything again and on the computer you can just close the preview wi window and close the app and on the camera by hitting the menu you disconnect the connection as well. <laughs> Last but not least, let's talk about the Sony menu. We've been in the Sony menu today together and it's quite huge and intimidating when you just have it all. There's so many things you can set there. It's overwhelming. And what helps me out a lot is the costume menu. So when you're in the Sony menu, the last tab on the right is a store and it's called My Menu. And there you 
can add the functions you often use and so you have them just all packed together and you can access them very easily and very quick. So I'll just show you um, how to do that and we'll start right away by adding the control with smartphone function to the custom menu. If my custom menu looks slightly different from yours, it's because I've already added function from the huge Sony menu that I use often, but don't panic. It's, it's easy and I'll help you. And the first thing we need to look at is the add item option. And if you don't see that, go to the next page and press enter on this item. And now we have like the whole Sony menu just in one tab. So it's 33 pages, I think. And to make it easier for you, I just looked up on which page the different functions are that we use today. We'll start with the control of the smartphone function and that one is on page 24. All right, so now we've found the function control with smartphone and on the control wheel where you can go all around with your finger, uh, in the center, press enter to confirm that you wanna add this function. And afterwards with the buttons on the control wheel, up, down, left and right, um, define the destination where you want to have it. So if it's your first um, function that you're adding to your custom menu, well, you don't have that much of um, different possibilities, but if you have others there already, then you can choose if you want to have it before or afterwards or whatever. And now let's add the other two functions we use as well. And again, hit add item and I'll just tell you on which page the other two are. Um, the send to smartphone action is also on page 24 and the USB-C connection is on page 30. Try out these various connections each five times, for example, uh, so you can memorize it very easily and then when you need it, it's just all muscle memories and it will come back with no effort. we will just be able to use it right away. So we've come to the end of this video. Um, I hope very much that it helped you out a bit and let me know in the comments which function you're going to use first and for which situation if you'd like to share it and like and subscribe if you're into it and if you want to support me you can do that the best way by watching other videos. I'll blend them here in on the screen and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!